Η νέα Αμερικανική διοίκηση αποκαλύπτει τι προθέσει τη στον Ερντογάν με αυστηρέ δηλώσει και επιστροφή στη θεσμική κανονικότητα, όπω είδαμε, κυρίε και κύριοι. Η Άγκυρα καλείται πλέον να αντιμετωπίσει μια νέα πραγματικότητα, όπω υποστηρίζει ο Έμρε Πέκερ, διευθυντή του Eurasia Group, μιλώντα αποκλειστικά στον Sky και τον Απόστολο Μαγκυριάδη. Emre, thank you for being with Sky tonight. Uh, yesterday, the State Department spokesman was harsh on Turkey and the way authorities treated students and the LBGTQ community. Is that an indicator that there's another front that Turkey should address with the new administration? I don't think so, Apostolos. I mean, this is to be expected. We always figured that once the Biden administration was in the free pass that the Trump administration gave to Turkey over issues such as democracy, free speech, rule of law, uh, would be once again front and center. And we always thought that any reset capability uh, between the two NATO allies would depend on Ankara's tolerance for such criticism and ability to prevent them. Mm -hmm. Now, a few days ago, the new national security advisor talked with uh, Ibrahim Kalin, Erdogan's closest aide. I wonder how you see the U.S.-Turkish relationship evolving in the next few months and whether you sense that there is any path for progress in the near future. I think short term there will be a serious effort to make progress, Apostolos. The interesting thing is that uh, Biden obviously is choosing very carefully which world leaders he wants to reach out to, and Erdogan clearly hasn't made the cut yet. Mm -hmm. um, but this is part and parcel for the strategy of the new administration, which wants to reinstitutionalize ties with Turkey. Thus, it makes sense for a very close Erdogan advisor, uh, Mr. Cullen, to speak with Jake Sullivan, the national security uh, advisor, obviously. Um, and uh, this shows an effort by the new White House to say, you know, the leaders will talk when they have to, but we should really get on the same page first by deputizing things and putting institutional connections back in touch. This mm -hmm. is a very, uh, this was the first contact, which is important to read out from both sides highlights both uh, the red lines each party has uh, and the expectations. Uh, it's early days to see how much progress that will be made, but I think we can anticipate an engagement uh, in goodwill uh, in the coming months, uh, which will chart the course forward. And what about Europe? Are sanctions still on the table or should we expect uh, one of the same in the near future? I would expect more of the same in the near future. I think between now and June, it would be premature to expect any movement by the European Council. Um, obviously, we're seeing strong statements coming out uh, from Brussels about uh, the prolonged detentions of uh, Kurdish politician uh, Selatin Demirtas, philanthropist Osman Kavala, and just now about the protests and the government reaction at Boziçi University. Um, so these will all test and try the relations, uh, but uh, given the desire in Europe to coordinate uh, foreign policies on Turkey uh, with the U.S. Um, and uh, Turkey's uh, efforts and steps in recent months to de-escalate uh, the talks with Greece, uh, its willingness to sit at the table in UN talks to see if there could be another round of reunification talks in Cyprus uh, will all sort of temper the desire at the EU level to take out the stick right now and go after Turkey with sanctions mm -hmm. uh, for fear of jeopardizing uh, the current environment of relative stability.